Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going over your Forming Ions Google self-grading sheet. So remember, when you get to this screen, you're going to click on Make a Copy. Once you've made your copy, okay, it's going to pull up the copy of your ion form. Okay, so when you look here, again, it's self-grading, so therefore you are going to type in the information that it asks you. So if you look down here, you can see that it's got different forms that will help you. So here's the actual form. Here is information to help you look into the periodic table about valence electrons. Here is a periodic table that has the chemical symbols. And then you've got your Lewis dot structures um, for the valence electrons. Okay, this isn't something that we have discussed in class, but it is something that we will talk about. But more or less, you're really looking at um, your periodic table, which you should have in hand. And then this information is to help you. Okay, so it tells you here that you are going to fill in here. Is this particular element a metal or non-metal based on where it's located in the periodic table. Here it tells you it's color coded for you so that if you want to look to see what type of element it is, you just find the chemical symbol here to tell you if it's metal or non-metal. Then you're going to tell what group number that particular element is. So Again, if you look at your periodic table, remember that number on the top is the number of, uh, the group A number is the number of valence electrons. If you look here, this tells you, if you put your periodic table to this, kind of tells you what your group number is, because that's the number of valence electron, which is what the next question is asking you. Then here it's asking you if they are going to lose or gain the valence electrons. So again, up here it tells you metals will lose, nonmetals will gain. Okay, here it tells you if you have one, two, or three valence electrons, atoms will lose all the valence electrons, and then the charge will be positive, and that the whatever the number of valence electrons are lost, that is the charge of the ion when it's formed. Here, it's telling you that if it has five, six, or seven valence electrons, then it's going to gain the number of electrons to get to eight, and then the charge will be negative, and the same number that it gains is its charge. So, for example, here you should see that lithium, Li, so when I look here, Li is blue, so it's a metal. I go here and I'm going to type it in. So I'm going to type it in. If, as you can see, it starts to populate. So you want to make sure that you type in what you want. You delete the rest and then you hit enter. If it's correct, it will turn green. If, for example, if I put a space on accident, okay, and then I hit enter, it's going to be red, but the answer is correct. So you've got to make sure that when you're typing it in, in order for you to know it's correct, it'll turn green. If it doesn't turn green, then, and you know for sure it's correct, then make sure that there's no extra space or that it's correctly typed in um, the information. Okay, so we know it's a metal. We know that it is, again, looking here, we see it is in the first group, first column, which is group one. Again, here it kind of gives you the group A numbers. So we know um, Li is in group one. Okay, so we put one here the number of valence electrons again if you don't remember the group number tells you the number of valence electron but you can also look here okay you can also look here and just count the number of dots that also tells you the number of valence electrons so again here we know there's one so we put one we know again from here it tells us and it tells us here that it's going to lose so I'm going to put lose whoops again so I typed it in but I didn't make sure that all I had there was lose so I go back L O S E I hit delete to make sure everything's gone and I hit enter and then what is the number of electrons that are lost remember when we lose we lose what this number is so I'm going to put a one there here I'm going to form my ion so I type in Li plus, and therefore it turns green. So here you're going to type in the chemical symbol, and then again, it's going to be the charge 
that it tells you, which again, in this case, because I lose, it's going to be positive, And whatever that number is, it's going to be that, that number. So I just put a plus. You can, if you would like, put L, oops, I'm sorry, LI, and then a plus one in order for it to, you can either do just a plus or a plus one. But again, as soon as it becomes all green, then you know it is correct. Then in order for you to submit, there are two different ways. You can click over here where it says share. When you click on the share button over here, then you can um, share it with me by typing in my email. Uh, you can actually use this email if you would like, um, the avonboysvb at gmail.com, or you can type in my email. Oops. In order to share it okay and then you just click send in order for me to get a copy of this uh, it will say that because we're not a Google school the other way that you can also send it is by or I'm sorry submit it you're going to click file then you're going to click download you're going to download it as a Microsoft Excel file in your OneDrive and then you are going to um, attach it in order to show me that you have it completed if you have any questions please make sure you reach out